Hi, and welcome to the Bat Explorer 2 tutorial. How to add a task. In this video, you will learn how to speed up your analysis by using tasks. If you have recurring work, that needs to be done for every project again, tasks can do that for you automatically. In this tutorial, we will add a task that classifies all recordings with Soprano P Pistrel. Please consider that automatic classification usually is not 100% accurate, since a lot of variables like the recording situation or the weather can not be controlled. Best results can be achieved with recordings of search calls in a free field environment. Set up the parameters conservatively and always review the classifications manually. A Bat Explorer task consists of a filter and an action. The filter selects the recordings that we want the action to be applied to. First we need to find the filter parameters that select only the recordings that belong to the species we want to find, in this case P. pistrelus pygmaeus. To do that, we will use a project that was created with the project wizard and has all recordings analyzed but not classified yet. We open the filter dialog to set up a new filter. The first parameter that is characteristic for sopranos is the peak frequency. So we set the frequency range accordingly. Additionally we want to limit the call length, the call types, and only consider recordings of good quality. Further we can use the species suggestions for our filter. For this, we enter the species name or abbreviation and select the species suggestion field to search in. Also we want to have only suggestions with high plausibility. Finally we only want to consider recordings that are not classified yet but analyzed. So we uncheck classified and not yet analyzed. Now it is time to test the filter. Click apply and close the filter dialog to review the result. Seven recordings match the filter. Check if the recordings really are sopranos. Here we have some recordings that have multiple species. We do not want to classify these automatically, so that we don't miss anything. To improve the filter we set the species count filter to consider only recording that have a single species. Click apply again. The recordings in question are gone and everything seems to be ok now. We give the filter a name and save it for later reuse. Now to the interesting part. Let's create a task that uses this filter and sets the species to Soprano P. Pistrel. And more important, this task can be applied automatically when we create our next project. To add a new task, open the Tasks Wizard. Click the Insert a new task button. A new task item is added to the list. Click the Filter button to enter our filter parameters. Since we saved the filter, we can just choose it from the list. That's all. Click the action button to set up an action that should be applied to the matching recordings. In the action dialog, choose the action type assigned suggested species and close the dialog. We also want to run the new task before the common P Pistrel task. So we drag it to the right place. Now we can apply the tasks to the project. Four recordings were changed by our new task. That corresponds to our previous result. In order to reuse this task, we can save a project template with the current settings or we just use the last used template. Close the project. If asked to save the settings in the last used template, click yes. Click Create New Project to use the tasks on new recordings. Select the template that we just saved. In this tutorial it is the last used template since this contains our latest settings. Enter a name, 
select a location for the new project and import some recordings. Our new Soprano Pipistrelle task is now available in the list and is applied automatically during project creation. Thanks for watching.